Sorry for the delay, but welcome to BHS Sports. Um, today is Boys Varsity Soccer Belmont playing against Stoneham. I'm here, Royce Pang, with my trusty partner, Mark Gazillion. How are you doing, Mark? Pretty good, Royce. Good afternoon, everybody. Glad to have you all here. Unfortunately, we had to start a little late because it might be raining soon, so had to move around some equipment. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Nicola's on the ball, pressuring the ball. Nicola and Daniel both going for the ball. You know Belmont always loves their press. Belmont got off to an aggressive start. Daniel Liu had an attempt on goal earlier. Saved by Stoneham's goalie, though. Pass to Andy. Now pass to Daniel. Daniel going down the field. Ball to Satchel. Mm -hmm. Poked away. And Stoneham with the ball now. Max comes up with it, passes it to Nicola. Up to Andy. Andy's looking for Daniel. Andy almost finds Daniel. Daniel's still looking for the ball, but Stoneham clears it. But it still go back to Belmont possession. Belmont holding it in Stoneham's half. Satchel. Looking for Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Daniel with the shot. And oh. the Stoneham goalie gets it. Sonam goalie's going to punt the ball. Sonam's first there to the ball. Belmont somehow got second header. Belmont defense trying to get the ball out. And nice stop by Andy. Nicola gets the ball now. But Belmont loses it again. Bone Harris with the ball. Passes it to Andy. And it's a Belmont throwing. Bone Harris passes it to Duda. Alex Duda passes it to Thomas Burkowski. Thomas tries to switch fields. Stone him with the press. Striker pressing hard. Alex Cook with the throw in now. Looking for Daniel. Doesn't quite get to him, but he's still fighting for it. Belmont throw. That'll be Belmont. Nice. Pass goes to Daniel again. Daniel. Daniel looking Pass for a it. shot. Patrick goes. Looking for Andy. Can Andy get to it? Saves it. Andy one-on-one. -on -one. And number 24 clears the ball. Alex Duda there to the ball. Satchel with the ball now. Looking for options. Passes it to Alex Cook. Alex Cook with the one-on-one. -on -one. Alex tries to cross it. Crosses. Ooh. Oh. And a nice Close save one. by Stoneham goalie. He's had three saves so far this game. Good start for him. Thomas Krakowski with the ball now. Passes it to Alex Serve. Serve looking down the line. Passes it to Nicola. Nicola looking for Satchel. And nice defense by Stoneham. Stoneham has the ball now. Number 10 has the ball. Pressured by Patrick. Stoneham crosses it. Not quite. Burkowski with the goal kick. Passes it to serve. 
serve as the ball passes to Max Katz. Alex Cook with the ball now. Satchel looking for options. Passes it far. Starting to rain now in Harris as Patrick Tang goes for the ball. Bowen Harris gets the ball now. Tries to switch fields. Alex Duda with a long pass, but with a Stoneham inter interception. Belmont's playing really Up slow. Up to Daniel Liu. Daniel with the one-on-one. -on -one. Tries to cross it. It's the fourth save for Stoneham's goalie today. Stoneham comes up with it off their goal kick. It's up. Belmont holds on to it though. Alex Cook saves it from out of bounds, passes it back. Now it's back up. Max Katz passes it to Nicola. Patrick with the ball. Oh. Patrick, Patrick gets it back is to on Max. the ground. Nicola has it now. Satchel. And number 10 from Stoneham. Belmont holds on to it in the back. Alex Duda down the line now. Passes it to Andy. Andy passes it back to the defense. Considering Belmont's a more aggressive team, they're playing a little slow, don't you think, Mark? Yeah, I'd agree. Obviously, in the last couple weeks, we've seen um, junior Daniel Liu score goals in the opening minutes. First at soccer night a couple weeks ago, where he scored, I think, in the first 30 seconds. And then just the other day on uh, Saturday evening when he scored in 30 seconds as well. Yeah. So I'd expect a little bit more quickness from Belmont out here today. Yeah. The Saturday goal is a spectacular goal. Wonderful. It's just great what the players can do out there. And he gets the ball now Looking for Nicola. Alex serve with the ball. Going to Katz, but Katz loses the ball. Stoneham now looks front. 24 has the ball, but Belmont gets the deflection. Alex Cook with the ball now. Alex Cook tries to sway the defender. This is the Satchel. Satchel looking long. A little too long. And that's going to be Stoneham goal kick. Around 29 minutes left of the half. Owen Filler comes in for Belmont, and he heads out. Owen Filler was actually injured for the past few weeks. Great to see him back on the field. Hopefully he'll have an impact for Belmont. Alex serve to the ball. Pass it back to Alex Cook. Alex Cook looks long for Owen Filler. Unfortunately, Stoneham gets the ball now. Stoneham gives it away. Owen Filler trying to get it up to Daniel, not quite. And the Stoneham goalie gets it now. Goal kick. And looks like Belmont's fighting for it, and they'll come up with it. Patrick tries to get it to Satchel. Back to Patrick. Oh, Stoneham holds it. 
Max has it. Turnover off to um, Stoneham. Stoneham, that's... Down the line now, Stoneham. That looked offsides, and there'll be a call. Offsides. Nicola with the ball now. Gets pressured by number 11 of Stoneham. Stoneham's been applying good pressure to Belmont today. Let's see if Belmont can handle the pressure. Daniel Leo goes down the line. There's a call. And the call is Stoneham throwing. Interesting. And that'll be Belmont, I believe. Yes, thrown for Belmont. You know, can't really expect that much. Low energy on a Monday afternoon. Everybody has a low energy on Monday yeah, afternoon. I already know Mark Azzolian has low <laughs> energy on a Monday afternoon. Junior class president is a busy job. Uh. <laughs> so is BC Calco, Mark. Of course, of course. <laughs> Alex Cook going to the ball now. Looking Trying for Daniel. Daniel. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Alex Cook tries to find Max Katz. Max. Katz is there to the ball. Let's see if he can cross the ball now. Tries to cross it. That should be a corner. Belmont corner. Let's see if Belmont can capitalize on this situation now. As Belmont is super good at corner kicks. Sandro Kankri taking a corner kick. Ball goes up. Stoneham gets first touch. Ball going to Satchel. And that'd be offsides. Offsides on Belmont. Belmont coach getting a little angry at Satchel. But it's all okay. It happens to the best of us. Stoneham has a kick. Ball goes to Alex Cook. Good first now touch to Satchel. to Satchel. Satchel. Patrick. 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 Patrick Tang going for it. Oh, and that nice was so stop. close. Nice, stop nice by run Stoneham by defense. Patrick. Max Katz has the ball now. Max will look to cross, I bet. Max Katz taking his time. Crosses. Stoneham. Plays great defense on Belmont there. Three Belmont players heading for it. And the rain is starting to come down a little harder now. Alex Cook tries to save it. And that'll be... A Belmont throw-in. Alex Cook taking the throw-in. Looking for Satchel. Satchel has it. Back to Alex. Cook. Tries to cross. And Stoneham comes up with it, clears it out. Right to Belmont. Oh. Number 11 with the ball now. And a foul is called on Belmont. Stoneham has a free kick now. You know, it's starting to, pouring, it's starting to pour hard now. You know? Yeah, so. the rain's starting to come down a little. Hopefully it doesn't get harder, though. But those clouds don't make me very optimistic. Uh, hopefully for the girls' game, it'll become better. Yeah. You know, don't want to have a cold, rainy night. No. Sonam with the ball now. Passing it back. Pass it to number 10. Oh, okay. Oh. Barton Harris with the ball now. Looking for Owen Filler. Owen Filler passes it long. Looking for Daniel. Daniel's catching up. Oh, good save by, nice touch by the Stoneham, Stoneham D. Daniel is relentless, though. He kept trying to get it. Now Stoneham with the push down he the line. Tries that number. He tries for a shot, and Thomas Borkowski with his first save of the day. Thomas Borkowski always the reliable goalie. One of the top in Middlesex. Uh, I believe number two or number one. You know. What a great goalie. Stop Meanwhile, oh, what a tap by Stoneham. And tap up 
to, I think, Owen Miller has it. He's coming up. Looks for Daniel. Daniel. For Daniel. Daniel. Oh. And Daniel. Oh. Oh. Daniel Leo with his first goal, making that score one to zero with 22 minutes left. That's his eighth goal this season. I believe tying Andre Leshner to lead the Belmont team in goals scored this season. Right as Andre Leshner subs in. <laughs> What a great goal by Daniel Liu. Daniel Liu, you already know, an amazing prospect for this Belmont team. Junior, hope to be senior captain, right as he subs out. You know, eight goals in the season, not easy to achieve, right Mark? No, absolutely not. Goals are a hard thing to come by. And you can see that only two players on the Belmont team, Andre and Daniel, have been able to do it so far this season. So, but let's see if Andre can make it nine. He's coming out aggressive. Belmont with confidence now. As Andre, Andre Leshner gets, gets his it. first touch, tries to get it out. Not quite. And it would be a Belmont throwing. Andre, Andre Leshner. Leshner comes up with it. So Alex Cook has it. Alex looking for options. Good defense by the Stoneham. Stoneham back line. Now to number five. Number five tries to get it over, but Nikola right there passes it back to Thomas Pukowski. Thomas Pukowski trying to see. And a strong win today here at Harris as well. Must have just blown the ball out of bounds. Sona with their throw in. Nice header by Nikola Stefanovic. And now Andre Leshner tries to control the ball. Stoneham. Pushing an attack, tries to score, and it'll go out of bounds. Goal kick for Thomas Borkowski. Thomas, Thomas Borkowski, my bad, plays it short. Passes it to the Cook. Cook passing it back to Alex Serv. Nicola with the ball, tries to switch fields, passes it to Bowden Harris. Bowden looking down the line. And Owen Filler is there. Stoneham with a good Belmont, press. Yeah, Belmont's just passing it around on defense. Let's see if they can be a little aggressive. It's off to Alex Serve. Just going to look to pass it up to Alex Cook in a through ball and not quite. Max Katz Max with the ball Katz. now. Seeing if he can push it up. Passes it to Patrick. Patrick to Andre. Andre fights for it, and that'll be Belmont throwing. Alex Cook to Alex Sir. Belmont's got it over half now, so Stoneham is playing very defensively. And that'll be a corner for Belmont. A misheader by number 12 for Stoneham. Now Belmont has a chance to win a goal on the corner. You already know, Andre Leshner, super good at those headers on the corners. Looking for his ninth goal this season. Satchel will take the corner. And it's off. Oh, the and goalie a nice gets a hand the in there. Oh, hard hit. Number 10 has the ball now and clears, clears it, it out. out. Max Cast, the only one on defense. Passes it back to Thomas Brukowski. Thomas, Thomas is gonna will handle this. Now. Passes it to Nicola. Nicola looking for options. Tries to switch fields. Max Katz with the ball now. Trying to look far. Satchel with the ball. And Andre. Andre's running up. Holds Andre on with to the ball. It. Tries to cross. Oh, so close. 
Nikola super close with the ball. Almost got his a nice goal right there. 18 minutes left. 1-0 Belmont. Stoneham with the goal kick now. And Nicola's first lift to the ball. Owen Farrell looking for Andre. A nice, nice giving pass go. By Andre. And that looks to be. Stoneham throwing. Yes. Nice play by number seven of Stoneham. Miss head. Belmont holds on to it. Max Here's Max. With the ball now. Max tries to get it up to Alex Cook. And there's going to be a whistle. A late whistle for the the play, but Belmont will take it. Satchel with the free kick now. Satchel with the kick. And Ooh. straight to the Stoneham goalie. That'll be the fifth save of Stoneham's goalie today. Stoneham's goalie seems to want to punt the ball. And straight to, seems like a handball. Yep. Good call by the ref. Stoneham's ball. Ball goes down the line, and Stoneham just misses the ball. Might be because of the rain. Never know. Rain's oh. starting to pour down right now. You know, sometimes you just miss, too. Yep. Luckily, we have a tent right now for our crew. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it was a good play bringing the camera under the tent before the game started. And that's cleared out of bounds, throwing for Belmont. Hopefully that... Oh, it hit a car. Okay. Unfortunate for that car, but... You know, hopefully they have insurance to back that up. Now Tomas is subbing in for Patrick. Passes it back to Bone Harris. Bone Harris trying to switch fields. Snowden is anticipating that. And just send it straight in. Nice move by number 15. And Stoneham looking to, and nice move by Alex Duda. Controls the ball. Gets it to Tomas. Tomas looking for people. Passes it to Bowden Harris. Bowden looking down the line. Andre's got it. Nice find. This is through to Owen, and that'll be a goal kick for Stoneham. Kick goes far. Nice Belmont holds by, on to it. Nice touch by Alex Duda. Bowden with the ball. Passes it to Nicola. Oh, I'm sorry. Owen Filler and then passes it to Nicola. It'll be Stoneham throwing and they're trying to be aggressive with it. Doesn't work out as Belmont holds on to it. On filler, sends it far. Passes to Satchel. Satchel gets it down the line. Tomas looking for opening. And Satchel with the ball. Satchel down the line. Satchel crosses, crosses and the goalie holds on to it. Nice save by the goalie. That'll be his sixth save of the day. Nicola tries to get to the ball and he does. Alex serve. And just slips. That's what wet weather would do to you. Of course. Oh, hard hit. And it's Belmont's ball after that, that tackle.
Pass it to Nicola. Nicola trying to look far. Finds Bowden. Bowden filler. Back to Alex. Andre's got it. Be a Belmont throw in. Alex Cook with the throw in. Pass it to Alex Serve. Alex Serve passes it to Bowden Harris. Tomas with the ball. Ooh. And just the Stoneham person just kicked it right to his teammate. <laughs> <laughs> a little too hard there. Nikola, Nikola. Stefanovic with the ball. Hey, Alex, Alex Cook. Cook passes to Andre. Andre tries to find Alex. Nice defense by Stoneham. Now it's a Belmont throw in. Passes it to Alex Serve. Alex Serve looking middle to Nicola. Oh, not quite. Ball is just a little slippery today, you know? Heavy rain, a little slippery. Alex okay. Duda with a nice Coming cross. Coming up the field. Alex Duda, Thomas. Finds Tomas, not quite. Stoneham looking middle. With two defenders on him. Serve holds on to it, passes up to Tomas. Tomas Andre. to Andre. Andre, Andre going for the ball. ball. And number seven of Stoneham gets it. Belmont pushes aggressively, trying to keep the ball. Owen Filler gets the ball. And that will be a Free foul kick. Stoneham ball in direct. Uh oh. Stoneham. Thomas Borkowski fumbled it for a minute. Alex Cook with the ball now. <laughs> It'll be a Belmont throw in. And, and it's a timeout from Belmont. We're looking at about 10 and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Belmont is winning 1 to 0. And we're back from the timeout. Hopefully Coach Kankre came up with some plans, you know, trying to get Belmont their second goal of the half. Right as someone's dog just comes up the bleachers. I don't know whose dog that is. They need to put them on the leash. Belmont with the ball. Alex Duda has the ball now. Alex Duda passes in the middle to Max Katz. Max Katz trying to look for Alex serve, and he does. I think the rain is starting to die down. It's a nice change of pace. Max Katz backs to the to Sa Satchel. Satchel looking far. Ooh, and nice fake number by three Satchel. just jumps, jumps back to jump on in. Like, oh my god. Max, <laughs> good one, Royce. Andre Lesnar going for a it. Little far. Was that a field goal, Mark? Uh, I was not looking at that part of it, but could have been. You know, I had three points to Belmont field goal. Still, in number twenty-two is taking the goal kick. No. The goal kick is for the goalie, so he's taking the kick. But it's still a goal kick, Mark. I guess. Sends it up. Max Katz heads it. And number 13, Alex Duda, gets the ball now. That's it. It's to serve. Serve to Cook. 
Cook trying to look. That rhymed. Yeah, no, I'm good with my rhymes. All right. Too bad they don't have rhymes on the PSAT. Unfortunately. Bowden. And number six of Stoneham gets the ball. He goes down the line now. Unfortunately, nobody with him. Number three trying to go for a shot. Good save by And Alex Max. Duda is down. Nicola with the ball. Passes it front forward to Andre. Andre trying to get with two defenders. Andre. Andre. Three defenders. And oh! Oh! Andre Lesnar with his ninth goal of the season. What a phenomenal run. That's 2-0 Belmont with 8-10 left to go in the first half. He just absolutely smoked four stone of defenders. Oh, my God. What a fantastic ninth goal for Andre Lesnar this season. With eight minutes left in the first half, Andre Lesnar brings the score to 2-0 now. Now Aiden Dawkins and Lu Lawrence subs in. Lawrence 2 subs in for Alex Cook. And Aiden subs in for Owen Filler. You know, originally Daniel and Andre had the same amount of goals, but I don't think it's going to happen now. Andre trying to keep that gap. But there's Daniel, too, trying to get his and tie it again. But, of course, the players are really just playing to win the game. So. Of course, of course. Back to Andre. 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 Pass to Aiden. Aiden's going to. Aiden's looking for the cross. And oh, nice save by the Stoneham the goal. goalie. That's probably like seven or eight saves for Stoneham's goalie today. Playing well. Aiden back on the ball, though. Oh, and a nice pass, a by pass by number 10. And just that the pass to nice Alex pass. Serve, apparently. Yeah. Got to control the ball, you know? Yeah. Rain has actually stopped. That's good for the players. Nice change of pace. Lawrence, too, with the ball. Lawrence with the one-on-one. -on -one. Good move by Lawrence, and that'll be... Nice defense by number 12 Belmont of Stoneham. Belmont throw in. <coughs> Coach Ken Cray a little mad about his players, but you know, coach just needs to be strict in order to see improvement. Isn't that right, Mark? Yeah, that's for sure. But Lauren. Belmont is up 2-0, so good. Oh, okay, what just happened there? The ball's a little slippery. It well, that's what, what weather does to you. Lawrence, too, gets the ball. Passes it to Satchel. Now our athletic director, Mr. Pritchard, is dealing with that stray dog. You don't really see many stray dogs in Belmont, you know? Yeah. Thankfully, Mr. Pritchard's handling it. Aiden with the throw in. And just can't seem to find anyone. But ball's back to Aiden. And he and sends it across. Nice save by Stoneham Keeper. And I'm keeper trying to find people. Going for his punt as usual. Nice punt by the keeper. And Alex Serve is first to the ball. Nicola back to Alex Duda. And looks far to Daniel. Daniel, Daniel going down the line. Daniel heading up. Looking to Andre. Andre, Andre for a second goal. Oh. Grounds it, and that'll be an eighth save for. Stoneham's goalie. A great opportunity. You can see Andre super frustrated. But, you know, it happens to the best of us. That might have been a handball. <laughs> and it was a hit to the face for Bowden. Who wouldn't use their hands to stop the ball and hit to their face? Stoneham number 10 sends it way far. And that's out of bounds. Goal kick for Belmont. Thomas Borkowski with the goal kick. To Bowden. Bowden's bringing it up the field. Passes it to Satchel. Hard hit there. But Belmont holds on to it. Nicola fighting for it, holds on to it. Passes it to Lawrence too. Lawrence with the ball. Lawrence. Good holding by Lawrence. Satchel's got it. Satchel with three defenders on him. Bowden. 
Passes it up. Aiden's got it. Aiden loses it. But it's still Belmont's possession. Nice Odin's pass. got it again. That's Max. Max, Katz. Max has been playing pretty good this game in the middle. Max Katz trying to look for options. And Max looks up. for Andre. Andre. Nice good touch, touch by, Andre. by Andre. And a Andre. nice. Andre looking for his goal. Oh, oh not quite by Andre Leshner, but a good shot. Andre Leshner hungry for that second goal. Looking for double digit goals this season. Right now he's got nine. One more would make it ten. We got a corner for Belmont here, so Andre will have his chance. Satchel preparing his corner. Ooh, and a low, low ball. One. Oh, that was an interesting pass. And Bowden goes for the ball. And oh. a trip by And that'll be Belmont kick. Satchel going for the free kick. Belmont's positioning, trying to get it their third goal of the half. Royce, do you think Satchel's going to try and put it in the goal here or no? I don't know. I feel like at this distance, they might look for, he might look for his teammates. You know, never know when there's just a random header. And that looks like, oh, 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 oh. Belmont almost has a chance, but they can't get the rebound. Stoneham's making an aggressive attack. It's a through, not quite. And nice defense by Belmont. Aiden talking Slow all defense. over the place. And Satchel comes up with it. Oh, Stoneham with the ball now. Number 11 for Stoneham, getting closer to the goal, looking for his teammate. Good lockup by Alex Duda. And they send up to ball. Andre. Andre's running for it. Number four is trying to chase him. And nice defense by number, number four. Number four on Stoneham. And ball is out. Belmont throw in. Aiden looks for options. It's a little bit closer up the field than we thought. <laughs> Interesting call, but like, okay. <laughs> Balls to Daniel. Daniel thought about it, but it's cleared off by Stoneham. Bone Harris with the first touch. Back to Max Katz. Max Katz looks far. And no one there to receive the ball. Satchel's gonna be there for the ball. Passes it back to Thomas Brukowski. Number 11, just going for the press. Gordon Harris, passes it to Nikola. Nikola Stefanovic. Now Stoneham gets the ball. And Stoneham still has the ball. Good and defense by Belmont. Gordon Harris locks that up. Satchel Kankri. With the ball now. Looks down the line and Daniel almost had another shot there. Ball goes up. Alex serve with the ball now. Passes it to Max and just not quite there. It's a little slippery. There's still some water on the ball, you know. This weather will do that to you. Andre Lushner with the ball now. Passes it to Satchel. Satchel looking wide. Looking all the way down the field to Aiden. Aiden and Aiden's just going to... Not quite able to get it. Ball went a little far. Stoneham throwing. Now it's Thomas Brukowski's ball. It's Alex Duda. And that's the half. Halftime, 2-0 to zero with Belmont leading. We'll be right back. And we're back. All right. Second half. Right as the girls are about to start their game at 6.30, I believe. So that'll be 40 minutes from now. Oh, yeah. 
Or, well, you know, uh, it's soccer, so. You know, they have their warm-ups. Oh, yeah. They're filing into the bleachers right now, and meanwhile, Stoneham's pushing it up. And oh. oh. Good save there by Belmont. Cleared out. Nice save by Owen Filler. Owen, valuable asset to this team, you already know. Absolutely. Although he was injured, you know, he's still one of the most important aspects of this team. Now, Belmont tries Satchel to Satchel holds it. Nice cross by Satchel. Satchel. Going all the way. Oh, could have passed it there, though. Nicola back to Bowden. Bowden has the ball now. And Belmont's playing it back. Alex serve with the ball. Looking down the line to Andre. Andre. Andre pins it, tries to get it through, not quite. He thought there was someone there. Bowden tries to get it up. Number seven on Stoneham will hold on to it, though. Alex Duda with the ball. And Nicola just absolute. Satchel's got it. Good look up. Looks at Daniel. Daniel. And gets Daniel through. smokes one. Oh, oh and close one. And that's a Belmont throw in, though. To Alex. Satchel. Satchel. Down to Owen. Owen tries to cross. Oh, oh nice cross. It. Oh, oh, Satchel's going to have a shot at it. Oh. Oh. It just loses it. Oh, it's Alex Cook is there. Oh. oh. Good attempts by Close Belmont. One. Very good attempts by Belmont. Unable to connect. Now it's Stoneham goal kick. The Stoneham goalkeeper has been playing pretty well this game. But as we saw there, Belmont's defense. Unrelenting, making sure they hold on to the ball. Bowen with the ball. Now Stoneham tries to juggle it out, but Belmont's good at taking possession right as the rain starts again. Wow, well, didn't expect that to happen. That's a time of year when weather like this happens in New England. Totally unpredictable. Rain. Yeah, it just rain. Just rain. rain. It was pretty hot like a couple weeks ago too, so you never know what happens around here. No, it's better than springtime. Fair enough. At least there's no chance it snows. <laughs> you never know for New England. Although, you know, I was looking through some records the other day, and I learned that a long time ago, maybe in the 70s, it did snow around this time, mid-October. So you never know. Who knows? Maybe it'll go below freezing tonight and we'll have snow on the ground tomorrow. Uh. And uh, meanwhile, Andre's going up with the ball. Andre trying to Andre get his Andre shot. Oh, 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 and passes it back to Nikola. Nikola's Nikola got it. goes He's for it. it. Oh, so close. Good try by the boys there. Stoneham with the goal kick. Passes it up. Ox Duda with the first touch, but Stoneham maintains possession. Stoneham down the line. Nice touch. Nice header that by uh, Bowden Harris. Nicola with the ball. Ox Duda tries to switch fields, but passes it to Tom Spurkowski. Tom Spurkowski passes it down. And Daniel. Daniel's Daniel down going the up the field with it. And that'll be Belmont throwing, it seems like. 35 minutes left. Score 2-0 to zero with Belmont taking the lead. Seems like Alex Cook is going to take the throw in. Let's see where he'll get it to. Satchel's running up the field looking to get open. Alex throws it in, gets it to Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. Turns. and that'll be a goal kick. Goal kick for Stoneham. Number two of Stoneham tries to sub in. 
He's coming in for number six on Stoneham. Stoneham with the goal kick. And Missed header there. Alex Duda with the ball, passes it up. Bowden sends it back. Bowden with the ball now. Bowden down the line. Pass it to Satchel. Satchel Kankery down the line. Satchel gets so it to Owen. Owen. Owen looking for the cross. Put it in there. And no one's there. Good try, though. And that'll be Stoneham throwing. Stoneham throwing. Throws it down the line. And nice. Satchel comes nice in there out of nowhere. Satchel. And that's, uh, couldn't tell you what that call is. Stoneham gets the kick now. See where they go from it. Seems like they want to kick it far. Looking for number three, but Nicola's right there. Andre, Andre comes the up with it. Watch Andre from behind. There's gonna and that's and just the unlucky touch by Andre Leshner. Number seven with the ball now. Stoneham throws it in. Number two of Stoneham. Right through the legs. Number ten tries it through. Thomas has got it though. That's why he's a top goalkeeper in the Middlesex League. Number two gets the ball. Stolen by Luce. Lawrence. Satchel. Passes it to Alex Cook. Alex Cook down the line. Cook trying to cross. Nice save by the Stoneham goalkeeper. Probably his tenth goal or his tenth save rather today. And a punt by the Stoneham goalkeeper. Bone Harris right there to receive it. Nicola. Nicola. Passes it forward to Satchel. Satchel gets it back to Nicola. And stopped by the Stoneham defense, but Belmont holds on to it. Looking like it's going to Nicola again. Who tips it to Satchel, who right there. doesn't quite hold on to Oh, what? oh, oh what? Right steal by Owen, holding on to it. Oh, not quite. Stoneham clears it. Lawrence right there to receive the ball. Bouncing around on the heads here. Nice touch Alex by Alex Duda. Duda. No one there to receive it, though. Stoneham maintains possession. Number 12 trying to get it. And Belmont's press. Trying to win the ball back. Andre Leshner gets the ball. Goes Satchel. down. Satchel. Satchel with the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. Nice stop by the Stoneham defense. Number 13 with the ball. Looks down the lane. Number 13. Lawrence 2 on the ball with Bowden Harris. Good defense. It is a corner kick for Stoneham, though. Let's see if they can convert anything here. Stoneham looking to, looking to get their first goal, bringing the score down 2-1. to one. Let's see what Stoneham's planning. They go short. Number 22. Passes it back. Good nice defense. stop by Alex Duda. But Stoneham still gets the ball. Stoneham tries to turn. Lots of yelling on the field after that one. And it's a Belmont throw in. Andre holds it. Tries to get it up, not quite. Nice pass to number three. Stopped by Alex Duda. Andre's got it. Looks ahead. Daniel. Daniel, Daniel might have Daniel, a straight away there. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel the three. Oh, oh, Daniel, oh, Daniel. Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Owen Filler. Oh, Owen Filler. Nice hustle by Owen Filler. Good hustle by the team. Throw 
It'll be a Belmont throw in. Owen Filler is going to take the throw in. Satchel tries to touch. Goes right to Stoneham. Belmont holds on to it. Here's Nicola. Nicola looking for options. Right Finds to Daniel. Daniel. Daniel with the oh. shot. And right oh, above. Oh, close. Right great, above the bar. Great shot by Daniel. Stoneham goal kick now. And a nice header by Andre. That one must have hurt. Yeah. What's up? Daniel. Daniel. Leo. Right to Andre. Oh. Not quite there. Alex, Alex Cook. Cook. With the throw in. Alex Into Andre. Andre. And Andre with Andre. the ball. Andre tries a shot. Not quite. Keeper for Stoneham saves it. Looking for the punt. As he always does. Sends it way up there. And it'll be sent out of bounds. Belmont throw in. Alex Cook with the throw. Sends it up to Andre. And that'll be Belmont throw in. Stump clears the ball out pretty well. Luckily, no cars hit on that ball yet. Lawrence, too, with the cross. Pass it to Alex Duda. Duda. Pass it to Bowden. Bowden Harris. Bowden looking up. Back to Lawrence. Lawrence two. Lawrence had a real long goal last game. Daniel can't quite get there. And Stoneham gets the ball now. Alex Duda with nice defense. It is a Stoneham throw in though. Stoneham subs in number 14 for number 12. If you're just joining us now, there's about 27 minutes left in the second half. Belmont's up 2-0 to zero against Stoneham. And there's a handball hand by hand Owen ball. Filler. Stoneham trying to capitalize on this situation. Trying to bring the score down, two to one. Number 22 is gonna take the kick. Thomas Brakowski waiting for the free kick. Thomas Brakowski. Thomas. And nice Save catch it. by Thomas Brakowski. Thomas Bukowski looking for options. Rolls it to Alex Plays Serve. Plays it short. Serve's going to pass it up to Satchel. And Satchel. Tries to get it through. Stoneham will recover it. Oh, Nicola with a Nicola nice steal. comes in out of nowhere. Looking for a teammate. Gets through. And that's a foul. Free kick for Belmont. Great attack by Nicola. Got through a bunch of defenders there. Satchel to Nicola. Nicola tries and to get it to Owen, not quite there. Pass a little strong for Owen Filler. Now it's Stoneham throwing. Number seven of Stoneham is going to take the throw in. Throws it down the lane. Right to Lawrence, too. Lawrence, too, passes it. A little miscommunication on the play. Alex Serve pressuring the ball. Has it to number 10. Number 10 looking for options. Tries to kick it far. And it's a header by Bowden Harris right to Thomas Brakowski. Thomas, Thomas rolls it out, plays it short. Right down the middle to center back. Alex Serve pushing the ball up. To Cook. Plays it to Satchel. Satchel Kankri. Bowden. 
Oh, with a little bit too much power right there. Holds on to it, though. Nicola into Andre in the middle. Andre looking for an opportunity to score. And uh, that's not quite going to be there for him. Stone goalie. Of course, he loves his punts. <laughs> yeah. Way up high. Let's see who'll get it. Seems like Belmont's going to hold. Oh! There's the trip. Foul by Sona. And they play it short. They pick That's play off to Andre. Looks for Alex Cook. Cook has Lawrence too. Lawrence passes it back to Bowden Harris. Bowden looking for, for options. Nikola with the ball. Has some space trying to do something. Passes back to Alex. Number 11 anticipating the pass. Ball to Daniel Liu. Daniel, Daniel looking tries down to the get line. it up. And it Not seems quite going to be there. And that'll be a Belmont throw in. That was a little odd, don't you think? Yeah, I, I like would. That would have been a goal kick. I don't know why he. Should have let it go out. Yeah. Oh, well. Belmont's throwing anyway. And that'll be. Oh. Nice oh, stop. On tight by Stoneham. Right as Andy Pinal is about to sub in. Stoneham looking far down the line. Bowden with some great defense there. Right as Belmont is getting back on defense. Number seven with the ball now. Number seven through. And nice defense by Nicola. Good D by Belmont. Alex Duda brings it down the line to Daniel. Daniel. He Daniel has Andre turning. up there. Will he see him? Daniel down the lane. Right Gets to Alex, Alex Cook. Cook. Alex Cook trying to cross it. Number 22 is right on him. Oh. And no Can't call. See what happened there. It's a corner kick now. Seems like the coach of Stoneham wants to make a substitution. And he does. Andy Pinal subs in for Owen Filler. Andy Pinal is going to get on defense in case anything happens. And here we have corner. It's up. And Stoneham gets it in the box again. Andre. Oh, not quite. And Stoneham clears oh. the box. Oh, my God. Straight to the oh, face. Yeah. Seems like all is well. Andy Pinal with the ball. Number 24. And Andy trying going. to prove something. 21 minutes left of the second half. Number two has the ball. And number 11 stays put. And blood. that'll be. Seems like a kick, free kick for Stoneham. Interesting call. You know, I saw a little bit of a trip there, but so did they did stop the play, so. Number 22 taking the kick. Oh, and a, maybe a miscommunication by Stoneham. Good defense by Nikola Stefanovic. Seems like a goal kick now for Tom Spurkowski. Stoneham seems like they're backing off a little, so Tom Spurkowski might play short. And therefore he does. Bone Harris has the ball. You sure therefore was the right choice of words? <laughs> you know, this is not the PSAT, so there's <laughs> no need for any other words. Number 11 with the throne. Oh, my bad. He gives it to number three. Number three looking to send it far. 
Alex Duda tries to get to it, clears the ball out. And right to Daniel Liu. Daniel trying to get the ball, Andy with the flying kick. Daniel, head pass. Right to Andre. Andre, Andre with the one on one on him. Andre's going up fast. Right, he uses his speed. Andre, one on one. Looks in the middle. Satchel right there. Oh. Can't seem to connect. And that's a timeout for Belmont. 20 minutes to go in the second half. And we're back from the timeout. Stoneham goal kick. 19 minutes left. Standard time. I didn't see anything there. Satchel with the ball now. Satchel with two defenders on him. And just kicks it far. And Andy tried to fly in there. Bowen Harris with the ball now. Keeps it in. And that'll be a throw in for Belmont. Andy with the throw in. This is where he's looking. Nice throw. Right to Satchel. Stoneham coach is none too pleased this game. Yeah. A little bit frustrated. Clearly. But now Stoneham gets the ball. Stoneham down the line to number 11. Number 11, nice cross. Number 11 is making some good moves there. Nice. Oh, not quite. He's kind of suffocated by Belmont's defense. Nice pass to Andy Pinal. Andy, look in middle. Looking down the sideline. Belmont throwing. Getting a bit cold, getting a bit dark here at Harris Field right now. No. Ball goes to Alex Duda. Bowden's got it. Satchel. Satchel tries to get Not it to sure who that was Andy Pinal, but unfortunately it can go through. Alex Duda's down. Alex Duda still down on the play. This can't be good. It seems like it's a goal kick now for Thomas Burkowski. Right as the football players are done with practice. Mark, you know something about football, right? Since you're in marching band? Oh, yeah. They got a game this Friday at 6.30. And the marching band will be putting on a halftime show for it, of course. We always Mike. love our junior class president. Of course. As Andy Pinal gets the ball. Oh, and a little bit rough. bumped. Andre's got it. Andre's going up. Will he cross it? Andre Lushner still with the ball. Crosses like it. And, cross. and Lawrence, too, with the shot. Goal, not quite. Lawrence, too, is looking for that shot. But unfortunately, it couldn't connect. 16 minutes left. 2-0, to zero, Belmont. Sonam is trying to rush their shots. You know, they're already down 2-0. Kind of want to rush a little bit. But Belmont's defense seems to be working. Bone Harris, nice header. Nicola. Alex serve with the ball now. Pass it to Alex Cook. Cook. Pass it to Lawrence. Back to Cook. Nikola Stefanovic. Pass it to Satchel. Satchel looking down the line. Pass it to Bowden. See where Bowden goes. Alex Duda. Looking for Satchel. Back to Andy. And that'll be a Belmont throw in. And he finds Nicola. Lawrence with the ball. Lawrence has it. Goes Pass it to Andre. 
Andre, Andre with a scoring takes opportunity. a shot. Oh. And it's right there. Oh. Close one there. Daniel Leo almost got that got that foot on the ball. Nice punt by the Stoneham goalie. And it's right to Thomas Brukowski. Thomas Brukowski passes it back to Bowden. Bowden Harris passes in the middle to Lawrence too. Two with the ball. As we see Patrick Tang and Owen Filler trying to get on. Satchel's going up fast with it. Satchel right it to Nicola. Nicola trying to look for a shot. Smothered. Cleared. But it's still Alex, Alex Cook. Cook. Not quite. Nice defense by Stoneham. Belmont holds on to it though. And Stoneham will take it. Lawrence with the ball. Lawrence. Tangled up. Stoneham wins it over. Stoneham has one deep. And that should be offsides. And it is. Yeah, it's an offsides call. Don't know why they're playing. Thomas Pukowski a little confused on that play. Alex Dudo passes it to Bowden Harris. Bowden passes it down the line. Satchel's got it. Satchel. They expect to Bowden. And it's out. Just. And it's subs. Annie Pinal played a good game. Same as Bowden Harris. Bowden Harris, crucial part of this team. That left, left back defender. Played it very well. Starting with the throw in now. 13 minutes left. Stoneham's looking for their two goals to tie the game up. And Owen Filler passes it down the middle. Satchel almost got a foot of it. It's interesting because Belmont's playing kind of two strikers. Normally, Andre and Daniel would sub each other out. Right. You know? But... Coach Hankery is trying to go aggressive on this one. Maybe that will work, you know? Two, two Mike, strikers. Stoneham's in the box right now, and... Whistle. Seems like a gold kick. Passes it short to Alex Duda. Duda bringing the ball up. Passes it to Lawrence too. A little bit slip up there. But Alex Cook gets the ball now. Alex, Alex Cook. going up with it. Alex. See where he goes. Goes down the lane. To Andre. Andre looking for the cross. Crossed it. Oh. Not quite there. Should be a corner kick now. Satchel taking the corner. See if Belmont can get their third goal in. Third goal of the game. Satchel with the signal. Ball goes up. And Ooh, oh, so close from Andre. Few collisions right there. But Stunham manages to get the ball out. Patrick Tang with the ball now. Let's see if he goes back to Thomas. Thomas with the ball. Thomas. Calm, cool, and collected. As usual. Passes it to Nikola Stefanovic. Stefanovic looking for options. Nice Find pass Andre, to Andre. What a thread of the needle. Andre tries to go for it. Won't work. Nice touch by Alex Serve. Another nice one there. Alex Serve looking for options. Passes it to Alex Cook. Cook. Passes it to Satchel. Satchel's going up with it. Satchel down the lane. Satchel tries the shot. He was looking for that shot. But number 12 on Stoneham. Goes to the ball. Nicola with the ball now. Being pressured. Right to Kent Gray. Fine Satchel. Kent Gray looking. Set him goal against it. Quite good over. Stoneham, Stoneham coach saying last 10 minutes. What a nice header there. Andre Lushner. 
Lashner looking for the ball. Cook. Cook with the ball. Down the lane to Lawrence. Lawrence to Satchel. Satchel to Nicola. Right back to Satchel. Satchel looking for it. Oh, and oh, oh. Oh, oh! And Andre on the ground. Hopefully he's okay. That was a big collision between Andre and the goalkeeper. Hopefully everybody's all right. Certainly seems that everything is okay. Seems like it's gonna be a penalty kick now. See if Satchel can capitalize on this one. It's a good chance, bringing the score up 3-0 with nine minutes left. Satchel will have the penalty here. Let's see if he can convert. And that's a goal! Everyone was confused on that play, but you know, a goal is a goal. Ball went behind the goalie and right into the net. Goalie actually um, guessed right, but unfortunately he couldn't. The power behind the kick willed the goal in. And score is 3-0 now. At least it should be. Should Scoreboard be 3-0. Scoreboard's not changing. With eight minutes and 42 seconds left. There it is, 3-0. Jasper Reddig now subbing in for Andre Leshner. Leshner played a fantastic game today, even scoring a goal himself. How many goals is he up to now, right? That'll Mark? be, oh gee, I think it must be nine goals this season. It looks like a fan on the other side is heckling the ref. No, things get a bit, it's a little bit wet right now. That's true. Can't really assume anything. <clears throat> Stoneham looking in. Alex Duda there. And it's a Stoneham throwing. Stoneham has eight minutes to get three goals to tie up the score. Mark. What are your thoughts right now? I think Belmont is in a pretty good position right here. Especially because Belmont's defense is pretty good. Of course, Stoneham is playing pretty aggressive right now. Right, of course, they're gonna need to. But and now the ball is up! Daniel Leo goes for the ball. Ooh, good kick by Stoneham defense. But Daniel, Daniel is still relentless. With that should be a hand, I think, but they keep playing. Daniel Liu! Nice Owen spot. Filler. Off to Daniel again! And they're gonna... Oh, and Filler tried for that no-look pass. <laughs> Unfortunately, Daniel's a little bit offsides. Sonam looking for on the left side of the field. Satchel right there. Nicola, Ooh, nice Nicola. steal! Nicola, all the way! It's a two-on-one oh, to Satchel! Patrick with the ball now! Patrick, Patrick takes a shot, not quite. Nice defense by Stoneham. Good defense by Stoneham, good look by Patrick. Jasper Reddick to the ball. Right to Satchel. Satchel. Oh, and a, hand ball, and It no. seems like a hand, but it doesn't no call. Look like it. Satchel. Satchel. Ooh, nice save. catch by the Stoneham goalie. Seems like Belmont's only gotten more aggressive here in the time since the penalty. Of course. And it, oh, Satchel tries to get it to Owen, not quite. Satchel back with the got ball. It again. Owen Filler tries to get the ball, and he keeps he it in. He on to it. Owen's probably going to cross it in to Satchel. Satchel trying to look for the cross. Ooh. And a little push. And is that another penalty? I in see? the box? Seems like it's another penalty kick. 
It was an interesting play by Stoneham, pushing Satchel all the way out. And Satchel's uh, going to have another penalty shot. Can Satchel make it two? Bringing the score up to four to zero with six minutes left. As the rain starts coming down again. Satchel, lining up the shot. And yeah, a nice save! Quite, but and Satchel just... Goal! <laughs> and apparently goal for goal. Belmont! I don't know what Stoner was thinking right there, but Satchel just got his rebound and just put it back That'll in. That'll be a goal for Belmont. Belmont four, Stoneham zero. Five and a half to play. Mark Gazzullian, junior class president. What do you think about, about that? Like... I was so shocked that they just didn't go for the rebound, right? Those have been two pretty uh, out of the ordinary penalty kicks there. The first one, you didn't even know what happened to it. Just kind of bounced around the goalie and went in. And that second one there, I was sure that it would be, you know, Stoneham would uh, recover it and send it up the field. Of course. But no. It seemed like as soon as the goalie's hands hit it, everybody froze. Yeah. And Satchel was able to capitalize on that and scored his second goal of the night. From my perspective, that was a very clean save by the Stoneham oh, goalie. Definitely, too. But the Stoneham defense was just just asleep or something, you know? Yeah, I know. They were frozen like ice. I know it's a cold day right now. Um, already, you know, we're starting to freeze up. 6, six ten right now. 54 degrees out. But you can't just freeze like that, you know? No. It's, it's so interesting. Like Kind of a shocker there. Yeah. Everyone was shocked, even Satchel. Like. Yeah, he was not expecting that to just go right back to him. But that'll be his second goal on the night. Satchel Kankri, of course, a vital senior captain for this team. Absolutely. Him and Nikola bring, this, bring the team together. This is why their record is super nice right now. But, yeah, I guess 4-0. <laughs> <four> to <zero. laughs> Can't really say much about that, right, Mark? No. And Two penalties so close to each other towards the end. So true. Quite, quite the uh, game here against Stoneham. Right as the JV. JV finished their game. I wonder if they won. Hopefully they won. And I don't know. It seems like Stoneham is starting to fade away right as it seems like Belmont's getting pretty aggressive right now. Yeah. And that's a missed head by Stoneham. Jasper Reddick with the He's ball. He's going up with it. Jasper good Reddick. pass. Another good pass. Down the lane. That's Modge. Ooh, a slide tackle. Hard tackle there. I don't know. I can't tell if that's clean or not. You know. Looked like he was going for ball and no call by the ref, so they'll keep playing. It's Jasper Reddick. Ball's a little slippery. Now it's Stoneham's ball with five minutes left. As the rain Normal keeps time. coming down here. And Aiden Dawkins right there with Jasper Reddy. And it's out. Stone throw. Thomas, Tomas Estrada, Donahue. I think that's his name, right? Yes. Yes, he's trying to sub in right now. I'm sorry. I am I think he's a senior class Tomas president. Tomas did win senior class president, won with his real no campaign. Right, he ran unopposed. And right now, him and I and the other class officers for the junior and senior class are planning homecoming with a hard hit down there near Belmont goal. Thomas Borkowski will have a goal kick, and Tomas Estrada Donahue will sub in for Patrick Tang. Rain is pouring right now. I mean, I wouldn't say that, but it is coming down a little harder than it was momentarily ago. You know, thankful that we have a tent right here for the Belmont, thanks to the Belmont Media Center. Yep, huge thanks to them for providing us with this equipment and this lovely tent to make sure we don't get wet. And good defense by Belmont there. Lawrence, too, with the ball. Just swerving past the defenders. Looking up the field. He finds Aiden Dawkins. Ooh. And that's out Unfortunately, of bounds. Unfortunately, it's a little bit wet, but can't seem to control the ball. And that's we have made it to that point in the game where the ref has a certain amount of extra time on the clock, and we'll see what becomes of it. Stoneham tries to throw it. Thomas Borkowski won't let that happen. 
Thomas Brikowski, you already know, one of the best goalkeepers in Middlesex. Can't say it enough. No, you right, can't. Marcus you Elias? really can. He's quite the, quite the goalkeeper here on the soccer pitch and quite the athletic um, freak, if I do say so myself. Able yeah. to do many, many athletic uh, feats. Even better than Yanis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee uh, Bucks. I would not say that. But I think I would. Our own uh, Thomas is better than him. Thomas Fikowski, he is a tri-sport athlete, actually. Oh, yeah. uh, varsity soccer, varsity swim, and varsity frisbee. Not sure if that's varsity, but definitely tri-sport. Uh, you know, always, always conditioning for the soccer season, though. I wouldn't call it varsity frisbee, but, you know, <laughs> it's a good feat. Do. It's a good feat. And Belmont pushes it. And Ooh, there's the trip. that was a hard hit. No call, though, because, you know... Game's already almost over. Yeah. What's the point in calling Number 20, that? I think that's Jaden Yan with the ball. Yeah, it is. Tomas Monster. Estrada delivers it out. Back to Tomas. Tomas. Pass to Aiden. Aiden Dawkins. And that will be it Seems offsides. like an offside. Yeah, that looked a bit offsides there. Seems like it's getting a little cold. Marcus and I feeling a little chilly, right? Yeah, a little bit. Mm. But it's that time of year, you know, when the weather starts to cool off at the night. Marcus Olian, junior class president, always knows his facts. Gets his facts straight, right? Absolutely. Mark, when's the next Hoko coming? Uh, We're going to have a junior senior homecoming, hopefully on November the 9th. That's a Thursday from 6 to 9 p.m., day before Veterans Day observation. So. We will not have school the next day. No worries to those of you who like staying up late. Lawrence, too, tries to go for the ball. And Nicola. remaining stalwart on defense. Aiden Dawkins tries to go. Alex Duda gets the ball. Alex looks up to Aiden. Stoneham intercepts. Number 24 with the ball. Nastonum maintains possession. And it is looking like this game will be over as soon as we approach, approach the final seconds. Stoneham will hold on to it. For those who are watching at home, stay tuned as girls varsity are playing Andover in the next game. Yeah, it's a little strange, but this is a rescheduled game. And there is the game. What a game by Belmont, huh, Royce? Right in the rain, where it all goes bad. But for Belmont, it went pretty well today, you know? That's for sure. 4-0. And, yeah. Two goals in the closing minutes by Satchel Kinkre. Both penalties. Both quite penalties out of the ordinary. And you had uh, goals early on by Daniel Liu and as well as Andre Leshner. After this game, we'll see that Daniel will have eight goals on the season and Andre will have nine. Um, boys leave the game with an uh, improved record of eight, two, and four. And we now have the girls coming on who will play at uh, 6.30, is it, I believe? 6.30, yes. 6.30. And they're looking to improve their record um, to get nine wins. So hope you all tune in for that. And that's fun.